Okay, this is uh, gonna be acapella. Um, I don't know. I don't know what kind of like instrumental I could use for this. So I'm just gonna say this. I don't know what I was on when I wrote this. I mean, I was probably just drunk because you know I don't, I don't do drugs or nothing like that. But um, I don't remember writing this, and it's just really weird. And just bear with me. I'm sure it was all for fun. It is all for fun. Stupid that I'm posting this, but here it goes. <clears throat> Last week I met a girl named Stacy shopping at Macy's. Asked her to the food court to get something tasty. Took a free sample of the teriyaki chicken. We got back to my place and we just start fricking. Little does she know that I stole a plastic fork and knife. Proceeded to cut her up like I did to that little dyke. Last week when I had a mass feast. Lesbian meat on some bread made with some fresh yeast. Yeeks. Little did I know this bitch was on the rag, and I used it as my gravy, it didn't taste too bad. She was getting older, and her tits kinda sagged, and her face was kinda ass, so I got out the paper bags. I don't mean to brag, but it was quite the nice conquest, now I got a new girl straight with some nice breasts. That's my favorite part of the chicken, and with chicks it's the same, but I saved that for last, it goes legs, thighs, then brain, eyeballs, heart, and all the rest of her innards, then I served the breast to guests that I have over for dinner. Still not found out, consider myself a winner, I only eat thin chicks, I'm trying to get thinner. I leave the bones to dry, then I make some bitch soup, squeeze the bladders out, and serve it with rich juice. Watch out for the bowels, sometimes they let loose, and you're covered in shit, and that shit you can't use. Now I almost got caught once, cause I missed a fingernail, but the cops let me go when they took me into jail. There was a lack of evidence, and no motivation, I ate the chick three weeks prior, and she was on vacation. She went missing, and her family posted flyers, they stuck them to phone lines, and I stuck this bitch with pliers. But I should really stop speaking cause I think they got me wired and I don't wanna let on that this guy might be a liar. Compulsive as they come, making up stories on the run. I do this like it's a game shit and I've already won. I do it all for fun with a knife, hands, a gun. I kill them all the same while well, I might as well be blunt. Confrontation, I used to be afraid of it. Now it's the name of my game so let's keep playing it. Until the caps catch on like Maxi to a thong. They're the glue on, on the pad, case been open too long. They dried out and they got no leads so I strangle a bitch with some Mardi Gras beads. Watch as the fear in her eyes slow turns to calm. Then I steal the bitch's cell phone and I dial up her mom. Her mom gets sick as I describe just how blue her face got when I was finally through. Rigor mortis settled in. She was stiffer than my dick after ten Vicodin and a big titted chick. She called me a prick as if I didn't even know. So I took a pic of the Vic for the mother just for show. How insane I can be and I'm a little derailed. Threw her on a fence and I left her impaled. Cops came later about 2.52, I left a note for them and their fucking mother too. It basically said that what I did was just for fun, they just checked the bitch's ass for what I carved into her buns. Just a smiley face and three number ones, she was number 111 and at a thousand I'll be done. <laughs>